Welcome back to the Hubbard's Handmade Shop. I am Ryan Hubbard. Thank you for being here, and thank you for coming into my shop with me and enjoying part of what I do. So I found a basic picture of the TV stand that I want to make, and I'm going just based on that idea and changing the sizes. I've got my measurements laid out and my boards here. I want to be able to get a shelf and a side and another shelf out of each of these boards. Let's do it. Let's get into it. Let's cut some boards. With the boards that I had, the way it works out, it, the, this is going to be the lower shelf and this is going to be the side. They don't actually grain match, but I got it as close as I could. That's what it's going to look like. I think that's going to be uh, pretty much spot on, so I want to mark those. Illuminati. Got a brand new blade in there. It's very sharp, but it is a 24 tooth. First thing will be to establish my 45 degree cut in the sled, and then I'll do a test piece, then my actual pieces. I built this table saw sled a while ago, and I never use it. Like, I never use it. In fact, I built a second one that I like better. So, I'm gonna go ahead and cut a 45 degree angle in this, and then I'll do a test piece, then my actual pieces. I've been doing a, uh, a test fit. Uh, this is the only way I could think to do it on the ground here. And I'm really just not happy with how big this shelf is and how very little space there is in between where the pieces come together. I'm gonna have to take a little bit of room off of this corner. Uh, that piece right now is about 17 and a half inches. And that gap is only like, I don't know, six, seven inches. So if I cut three or four inches, maybe four or five inches off of that, I think that'll make that look a lot more visually appealing. Oh, look at what I did. Cut right through my dominoes. I don't think it matters that much. It's kind of interesting looking though. So I obviously did a lot of test fitting and when it was actually time for the glue up I wasn't really even sure how to proceed so I just turned on the time lapse camera and started trying to fit things together. Uh, there was a lot of finagling to try to get things to go together and I did some clamping. And then this last part I thought this would be difficult but because of the 45 degree corners I just kind of banged it into place and it fit pretty well. And then I added clamps to make sure everything uh, held together tightly.
took some of the scrap boards that were left over from cutting the rest of the shelves and glued them together. There were five boards about 25 inches long. I ended up only needing about four boards thick, but I wasn't really sure how thick I was going to get it to end up. After that was dry, I took it out of the clamps and I cleaned it up at the table saw. And then off camera, I cleaned it up at the planer uh, because I said it ended up thicker than I needed to be. So some of these shots, it actually looks thicker. And then in the later shots, you can tell that it's a thinner uh, glued up block. Then I angled this uh, fence at about 10 degrees and just cut off the four sides of the table leg until I was happy with that taper. I used the wedge cut off from another side to hold up the block, otherwise it wouldn't be referencing flat. I was really happy with how these table legs came out. After some cleanup, I made this quick and simple jig so that the table legs would always be the same distance on each of the corners. This TV stand or media console is an absolute success in my books. I'm really happy with how this came out. Here's some uh, other pictures of what it looks like in the client's home. And one of their cats found a nice little place for itself on the bottom shelf there. Don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and please subscribe so you can come back for more from the Hubbard's Handmade Shop. Catch you next time. Okay. <clears throat> Luke's nose is bleeding.